As fire victims return to their neighborhoods, they may be looking to their insurance agents to see what is covered so they can rebuild. KSB Wines' Melissa Newman is live in Santa Maria to explain how some homeowners may be underinsured. Melissa. Kathy, I spoke to an Allstate agent who says that homeowners may make upgrades to their homes and then forget to update their policies to reflect the new value of the house, which could mean less money coming your way if disaster were to strike. So far, I don't see anything that made it around here. I highly doubt my house will be any different. It's a devastating situation to be in, losing everything you own to a fire. The disastrous fires across the state now have people here at home reevaluating if they're prepared for the worst. I was actually just thinking about that yesterday and how I don't know with 100% certainty if I do have fire coverage. So that's definitely something I'm going to want to take a look into. While many things in the insurance world have become more simplified, some homeowners say they'd like insurance agents to be even more transparent, as things like flood insurance aren't typically included in policies and take 30 days to go into effect after the policy is written. Definitely, I think that they, they should make that very clear right off the bat, you know, when someone's getting a new insurance policy. Allstate agent Mary Rowan Ishikawa says insurance companies often can't change your policy once a disaster is affecting your area. So it's best to look at your policy each year, sometimes with the help of a contractor. They would tell you what the approximate value per square foot is. So let's say it's $100 per square foot or $200 per square foot to rebuild your home. You would want to take that into consideration and then look at your policy and compare that. Rowan Ishikawa also suggests taking photos of your belongings as a reminder of what needs to be replaced. Even just opening cabinets, opening drawers and, and closets and taking quick photos really makes it easy for the client to remember because it's hard after you know, these folks that have lost everything. How do you remember what was in your kitchen cabinets? The agent I spoke with also recommends keeping your heirlooms and memorabilia in a place outside of your house just in case something were to happen to your home and also always keeping a bag inside your car in case of an emergency. Live in Santa Maria, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. Good tips there. Thank you, Melissa. And so far, it's estimated 7,600 homes were destroyed in the campfire and 483 structures in the Woolsey fire.